What's up guys, it's Jonathan, the Disney fan here, and today, welcome back to my least favorite movies, part 13. I'm sorry I almost forgot, I was busy with other stuff. So, let's get started with Arctic Dogs. Now this one, this was a major insult to animated films. This was a real pile of polar bear shit. I mean, John Cleese and Alec Baldwin and Angelica Houston? Come on, you you guys can do better than this. Why'd you have to be in this one? This is so shameful. The characters are so brain dead in this film. They make wrong decisions and they make poor choices. And the plot is very confusing. You can't even tell what it is because the movie's so bad. It's so lazy to explain what what the hell is is all about. The jokes are not even funny to begin with. They're just very childish and dopey. And the humor and and the humor is unpleasant. Why why did anyone harm themselves by making this film? Arctic dogs. Seriously? You can't come up with something even more clever than this? No words can describe how awful this movie was. It is such a poorly made film. Over the Moon is better than this. Even though I haven't seen it, I'm planning to because it, it looks like a de decent film, Over the Moon. It looks decent, but this one, however, is is horrible. This is horrible. If you haven't seen it, I'd say avoid it at all costs and watch Over the Moon instead. Over the Moon looks like a good film. I'll have to give it a try to watch it. This, I would say avoid it if you haven't seen it because it's awful. Moving on with Arctic Dogs. Hold on, guys. Really? Oh, there we go. Fun size. This movie is anything but fun. It's so cliche and boring. Yep, it was so boring. All the characters were really dull. And it has no real good jokes. Even the humor is just just lackluster. It's a lackluster. Nickelodeon, why did you make that film back then in the first place? This movie was terrible. Everybody did such a poor job acting. The plot was even a huge mess that... The director, some director accidentally spilled coffee when they were making the plot and he he thinks that it's fine and he just makes a stupid movie called Fun Size. And the way they they do it's so dull and uninteresting at all. It's so dull and uninteresting and nothing about it is funny at all. 
There's nothing funny about this film. <sighs> yeah, this movie's anything but fun. And I don't know why the title's called Fun Size if it, the movie's not even fun to begin with. No. I'd say avoid it if you haven't seen Fun Size. Not a very good film. And it is something that I would avoid if I were you. Okay, moving on. Next one. I'm not sure if I showed this one yet, but I'm going to just in case. In fact, this was the worst sequel ever from 2016. And if you're, case, if, if you're curious what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this. Yes, I am actually talking about Zoolander 2. This was, without a doubt, the worst sequel ever to be made. Why? Why did they harm themselves by making this film? Ben Stiller acted like a, like an idiot in this film. He he's not funny in this film at all. He he's just a he's just an annoying idiot that makes me. That makes one want to scream their head off with anger. And Owen Wilson, he was terrible too. No offense. But Ben Stiller, ben Stiller Owen Wilson, Will Ferrell, and everybody who was in it, they were all terrible. No offense. The acting in it is poor. The Jokes are really childish. The plot is a is so shameful. The writing and producing is just a mess and lazy too. And what's the worst part about it? Justin Bieber. He freaking appears in the sequel. And I really hate Justin Bieber so much. He's the worst singer ever. He is no Michael Jackson and he, he's not even com he is not even close to being good as Selena or Michael was. So Selena and Michael Jackson were awesome. No, I'm not talking about Selena Gomez. I'm talking about the singer named Selena. She was she was a great singer too until sadly she died in 1995. But yeah. And and we all know my Michael Jackson is awesome. And he's one of my he's one of my favorite singers too. So yeah. Justin Bieber's appearance in this sequel was the absolute worst. <sighs> yeah, if you haven't seen Zoolander 2, don't. It's, it's a piece of shit sequel that I don't recommend. Watch Pretty Woman or Selena from 1997 or... Watch, um, put Michael Jackson, this is it. Way better than this one right here. This is just despicable. In fact, the sequel is so freaking despicable. It's, it's not a very, you won't have a good time watching it. You'll have a very hard time watching this. Train wreck. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, once again, avoid it. You will not like it. 
Okay. Next one. Hmm. Hmm. I got one. If you thought Zoolander 2 was bad, well, take a look at this. Yeah, like if the first Grown Ups movie wasn't bad enough, we got this, Grown Ups 2. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Grown Ups 2, are you fucking kidding me, Sony? And are you fucking kidding me, Adam Sandler? Adam Sandler, what the fuck is this? Grown Ups 2. Oh my god, this, this, the plot is so infuriating. The characters act more like, more, act more like idiots. They, everybody does. Not one single character is likable or or redeemable. My God! And the plot is in the directing, the writing, and the script is such a mess. And God damn it! The jokes are just just nasty. Like there's this one scene where well one character was making ice cream and it poop came out. That's just fucking disgusting. Who the hell wants to see that crap? It's so nauseating. It makes me want to throw up every time I see this. Oh my god. This sequel is so infuriating. It's infuriating me. In fact, this was the worst Adam Sandler's film ever. One of the one of his worst. I think it's so bad that it's infuriating me already, guys. You could tell I am getting angry right here because of that film. Even the the jokes are make me infuriated. It's infuriating, guys. Grown Ups 2 is just an irritating film that I don't recommend if you haven't seen it. The character sucks, the joke sucks, the acting sucks, the plot sucks, everything about it really sucks. And I hope the sequel Coming to America will be better than this piece of shit. I know it's going straight to Amazon Prime. It was originally... Supposed to come out in theaters, but now it's going straight to Amazon Prime. But the same day on December 18th, which I'll I'll probably get that on DVD when it comes out. The sequel to Coming to America. I hope that that sequel will be funnier and better than than this pile of cow shit. So yeah. Grown Ups 2 is a movie that you should avoid at all costs if you haven't seen it. It's not a funny film at all. It's, it's very infuriating and hard to sit through. Alright, and that's all I would like to say. Thanks for watching this video and I'm sorry if I got so angry about it. It's just this sequel really infuriates me. And... Yeah, I apologize for that. This is Jonathan, the Disney fan here, signing off once again, and I'll see you guys next time for part 14. And I'll see you guys later.